Hey there, so today before beginning, if you like this kind of content, if you say that umbrella guy, I love what you're doing here, I love what you bring to the table, well make sure that you sub, make sure that you hit that bell for daily content, and if you want to go further, if you want to check out the links in the description, because this kind of wrong thing, it's definitely frowned upon these days, yeah, make sure to do that. More on that at the end of the video. So today I want to look at something that I found to be quite intriguing. And this is something the Yellow Flash will have at least covered partially here as far as the IO9 connection. This is something I've been digging into somewhat because I found that to be intriguing. And I find it to be intriguing, all of the threads that lead back to one common variable out there. Now, we've already talked about connection when it comes to certain people out there that have been brigading to their connection with certain folks, say, in the voice acting community, and how they themselves may ultimately want to get involved in that community. So, of course, this kind of stuff, it definitely hooks them up. I mean, if we're talking about certain people out there. Well, Mars Girl. Mars Girl would be the first person I would want to look at. Why? Because this is the originator of the Kick Vic uh, hashtag. And also, this is somebody who has gone out and has tried to levy accusations about people being alt-right, about a certain voice actor being called the Fuhrer. On and on. Crazy stuff. This person behind the scenes, too, has been talking about, I hope we can finally tackle the ongoing problems with others with others talking about this possibly not being the only person that they go against. And they even have problems with things like, remember, there are always two sides to every story. I mean, this kind of stuff. When you get to that level where you attack someone for saying, hey, you know, remember, there are two sides to that? Yeah. But then again, you know, this is a person that has made this stuff about themselves as well, telling you, hey, when I was 10, this happened to me. So why don't you go F yourself when you try to talk about that kind of thing? This is something that they have been immersed in. You know, when you go and you look at their timeline from January on, it's quite insane. You will see them pressuring cons. You will see them encouraging people to go out and to write articles. You'll see this kind of interconnection that is woven that seems quite intriguing. And remember that, the writing of articles. I want you to remember that. In just a moment. So before talking about the connection that comes with articles, let's talk about the connection that comes with investigation. And of course, someone, you know, sharing that, a specific Mars girl talking about, look at what happened there. So this is one of the people who apparently must have levied an accusation. Someone that was definitely, if you listen to Mars girl, which we'll show in just a minute, connected to said investigation saying, hey, I just got swatted because. Now, what they're saying here, you know, I never really thought about this at first, but what they're saying here is that your fans are victim-blaming a-holes. So, you know, it sounds like they're saying, hey, I'm a victim, and you sicked your fans at me. Look at what you did. Look at what kind of monster you are. And you know, social media, it blew up with these accusations too, because those are some damning images. And yeah, they are indeed damning images, but not for the reason this person would think. I mean, look at how bad those images look. Look at how bad they come across. Until, of course, you start looking at the original dates that some of this stuff uh, came up on. And kudos to the people who found this stuff first. 2016. This person had actually posted a narrative in 2016 talking about this transpiring, talking about pretty much everything in here, including the door jam and the door replacement, you know, having to go out and having to do something about that. I mean, they put all of that in, police and everything. It was something that they put together to try to discredit, to try to point the finger. 
and to try to get attention. Now, if you look at who this person is, it's quite disturbing when you look at that connection, especially when you start thinking about investigation and sway within it. I mean, when you see someone connected to Funimation Entertainment and they're involved in a swatting allegation that never transpired, one that you have fingers pointed at other people saying, hey, that guy over there's a monster, that person over there is a monster. Look at what they allowed to transpire. That is pretty freaking messed up. Now, what I found kind of interesting here was this type of uh, conversation. You know, you have Mars Girl here, and Mars Girl talks about connections behind the scenes, too, in certain, uh, certain statements. Well, here, sharing that post, sharing the post about how there was a squatting, I highly suggest you read the account of one voice actor who took part in Funimation's investigation. That alone should disturb people when you get down to it because even if this person isn't connected with a Mars girl, which, you know, I wonder about that, they are definitely connected with investigation. And if you're willing to go out and you're willing to levy a false swatting accusation, then what other kind of stuff are you willing to levy? So another connection that I wanted to hit on. Now this one, it's new. I just noticed this kind of stuff. I talked to Yellow Flash about it. He will probably drop a video before this because, you know, his videos actually reach more people. And that's the point. This point is not for clicks. This point is not to try to grow channels. This is about talking about someone that is being marauded against, someone who is having their life destroyed. And if the stuff out there is true, then, well, you know, this guy is a, a teetotal monster. But when you go and you look at some of the connections behind the scenes, it really makes you wonder, what if, what if, you know, some stuff, again, you're going to have some connection out there every now and then. But when you start looking at threads and you look at these threads that uh, end up going from industry, that go into the media that's covering that I mean all of this stuff isn't it rife for abuse so the person that wrote this I knew the name for some reason I kept thinking who exactly is that person and well when I looked them up I thought oh yeah I know who they are because despite all of this stuff for io9 and on and when I was thinking about their uh, background I remembered a certain connection to a specific show that Mars girl was also part of that's right, Nostalgia Critic. In fact, if you go in and you look at uh, Beth Elderkin's uh, timeline, you'll find conversation talking about Nostalgia Critic as well, talking about certain things in the past. Moreover, when you start looking for other connection, you see, hey, who knows who out there? Well, here's Mars Girl talking to Beth. You know, you can see all of that conversation back and forth. And this is direct reply. These are where someone has gone and commented to that person, just pulling that up. I mean, as far as other conversation is concerned, I don't really know. There could be way more than that. Also, if you're looking at the other side of that, too, if you're looking at that person talking to, say, Amara's girl, well, you have a lot of that connection, too. You have a lot of that passed on. And when you start looking at that, and again, you start thinking about connections there, it does make you wonder what's transpiring. I mean, I think about certain things like, say, Neil Kaplan being discussed. And I think about those statements about friends. These comments, they always stick with me. And they stick with me because of one thing. Because this shows the duality of the entire industry. And it also talks about the interconnection behind the scenes and how certain people, they're in and certain people, they're out. Certain people end up othered. And well, when one of those people are othered, when certain folks out there, they despise them, they're going to make sure that they're out. I mean, I see Ron here talking about that dichotomy, standing with survivors, but also friends, and talking about Neil Kaplan. When he discusses Neil Kaplan, when he talks about the one accusation 
versus, say, 100 to 1,000. Although, really, if you look at the number, it seems about 40 is what I'm looking at here. But still, you know, that one versus, it's a very interesting way that he puts it together. And then, of course, he talks about, hey, no PR bull here. It's hard to say. I stand with victims, but then support a friend, but I am. One account out there, one account says, ah, it's not that big of a deal. If there were more, well, yeah. It shows you, like I say, this mindset, this interconnection, and it makes me think, what if? What if there's more? I mean, I always go back to that kind of stuff, and I always go back to something like this. At the end of the day, when I think about accusations, and I think about how on the left, that guy is having his career destroyed, and on the right, this person, how dare you talk about that? We're going to take you to the FBI and report you for harassment. Isn't that something? Isn't that interesting? I mean, all of this, this narrative, this interconnection, well, again, you just have to sit back and you have to ask, what if? <laughs> what if? And again, do I have the answers to that? No. But, you know, all of this stuff that's been presented here, I don't feel like it has answers in it. I don't feel like there is substantiation. If you go out, I do know, too, if you just listened and you just believed in the last week alone, you would have bought into a bombing threat that probably isn't real. You would have bought into a fake swatting that we know isn't real. You would have bought into several allegations without substantiation. You would have been willing to burn people's life down for lies, for gossip and slander. That tells me that, well, when I'm looking at this kind of stuff and I think that there might be a link, well, at least it's interesting enough to talk about. Don't you think? Leave me your comments on that stuff below. So if you do like this kind of content, make sure you sub, make sure that you hit that bell, and check out the links in the description. I mean, right now, basically the reason that people should help out channels, not just this one, but other ones, is because you're committing the current your cardinal sin. You're listening, but you're asking questions too. And well, doing that, oh, that's terrible. That's wrong think. And man, you shouldn't do that. You're some kind of monster. You get attacked for this stuff too. You get attacked and hard and from all sides, calling you some kind of some kind of terrible human being. They call you an R to the A to the P to the E apologist. When you're not saying someone is guilty or innocent, you're just looking at specific connections and you're saying, hey, this kind of stuff, it looks strange. Leave comments too, for sure. Like I ask for them all the time. I try to go through as many as I can because one of the things that all of these folks forgot, but one of these things that I always want to do is I always want to thank you because I appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. I feel like we're all part of a community and we're trying to figure out things together. We're not talking about whether or not someone is innocent. We're looking to determine whether or not there is something substantial out there, whether or not we are, you know, seeing something, seeing the unfolding of a career because of a reason or because of something that looks far, far more nefarious. But anyhow, I want to thank you here, so thanks, and we'll do it again later.